So hello everyone, welcome to Motivate Community Show, a place to meet spectacular speakers and community leaders. Uh, and here in Shanghai, we have one community leader here with us and he is repeating guests. Um, his name is Larry Wang. Uh, so as usual, I will say a little bit about him and then he will say about his new workshop that he's holding, holding for our community. But as always, we will see what we can take away from this short interview that we are doing. If you can learn something new about your career. So today we are focusing on career, on maybe changing jobs. So let's see um, to learn a little bit more about this topic. Uh, so about Larry. So he is American born Chinese. He has been working in China for over 20 years. Uh, and he has been addressing career development uh, and challenges um, and is um, addressing challenges in China's evolving talent market. He's written two highly regarded career development books uh, for Chinese professionals on how to develop your career sense and soft skills. Um, and as a key opinion leader, KOL, he often shares his human capital insights and talent development expertise with top MBA programs. So Harvard, Wharton, etc. And popular media, CCTV, Business Week, CBN Weekly, and so on. So we are very happy to have Larry here uh, with us today. So Larry, please introduce, um, maybe say a few things about yourself, maybe comment or something um, if you feel like I missed something um, and share about your workshop. So a workshop is called Achieve a Big Career Change. So for those who want to change their jobs, maybe change their careers, um, this workshop will be for you. <laughs> and yeah, so please share, Larry. Okay, first of all, Ivana, thank you very much for your introduction. And uh, uh, like you said, uh, this, this is um, kind of my follow-up uh, workshop. So last month in uh, early March, or, or earlier this month, um, I did my first workshop with Motivate, and the title was um, How to Figure Out Your Career. Um, I spent a lot of time, uh, you know, working with really uh, great people. They're very sincere. They're uh, self-motivated. They have their dreams, right? Um, but uh, it's a very natural thing uh, to, you know, to have challenges figuring out what is the thing you should be doing uh, and, and what is the thing that you could potentially be great at and that you'll really enjoy, that will be meaningful, that will have a big impact on others, but, but also your own life, right? So that was the first one. So th that one is more at the stage of, maybe uh, planning and pursuing, right, at least uh, what direction you should go in for your career. So this next one, which is going to be on um, April 2nd, uh, next Tuesday, is on how to achieve a big career change. So uh, to use a business word, it's more about the execution, the actual making it happen, uh, this big career change. And so, you know, um, uh, as Ivana mentioned, I've written a couple books about career development. Uh, I also have two companies. I have a recruitment company. It's called Wang and Lee Asia Resources. Um, we work with top uh, global companies, and these days, a lot of top Chinese companies. But these days, I spend most of my time uh, on developing my um, uh, career and talent development uh, training company. It's called Jirshang Wang, which stands for Career Sense. And a big part of that is, again, helping people get into the uh, right right type of job or career. So, you know, especially when making a big career change, uh, this is a huge, scary move, right? You're going to, into the unknown, the unfamiliar, from something that's very familiar, even though you might not like it, but at least, uh, you know, uh, yeah, you're, you, you've been a part of it. Um, you know, uh, it might not be that challenging, but, uh, uh, you, you know, you can be reasonably successful at it. But when you make a big career change, um, there's, there's a big uh, kind of fear factor to it. And so uh, a big part of, uh, you know, this workshop I'm going to have, the next one, 
is to how to take very practical, I think, reasonable steps to find out if a particular situation, whether that's a new job, company, uh, maybe an industry, is going to be the right thing for you um, without necessarily having to just quit your job or to uh, you know, uh, jump, jump out into the unknown. So uh, what I try to do is uh, uh, help people go uh, step by step down that path to experiencing and understanding what kind of situation, job or career situation, will be the best fit for them. Yeah. Mm. Okay, so um, it feels like many people are in this kind of situations, you know, that they have mm -hmm. been at one position, you know, they finish university and immediately go um, to similar field or maybe some yes. other field, but they're, let's say, stuck in that field for many yes. years and don't want to change. So what would you advise them to first take a look at, to first do? Is there some advice that you would make yeah. them? Yeah, so I think the big thing is like, um, a lot of people have this idea, particularly young people, well, I got to actually try it or do it to know if I like it or not. So that's why you see a lot of young people, uh, they, they, they job hop or they're, they're changing jobs quite a bit, which uh, sounds like a good idea the first one or two times you do it. But if you're doing that three, four, five times, you're 25 years old, you're really doing damage to your, your, your future and your long-term prospects. People start questioning not so much your stability or your commitment, but your, your maturity level, right? So it's not really a practical way to explore new opportunities. So there are other ways to do that. Um, talking to people who do something that um, uh, is, is uh, also something that you're highly interested in doing. Maybe doing internships. Uh, also, uh, uh, you know, there are all sorts of groups now, right? Um, organizations, Ivana, you're part of Motivate, right? And so you're interested in personal and uh, uh, career development. And this is a great way to, to do that, you know? And, um, you know, I don't know what you do otherwise, but you might have a day job still. But it allows you to, we say, taste uh, a little bit more to really know um, what this thing that you, you think you want to do, you, you think you're interested in, is really about. And uh, in addition to experiencing more, you also build up a little bit of uh, experience and credibility and capabilities related to this thing that you really want to go all in on eventually, right? So in my workshop, um, again, uh, how do you take these um, very reasonable, practical steps to move further down this, this path, uh, this different path, that uh, you're, you, you think you might be more and more interested in going into, right? Before, again, uh, at some point, you do have to reach an all-in point where you want to leave the thing that is not motivating you, not inspiring you, not bringing out the best in you to, to uh, pursue something uh, different than what you were doing before. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, for me, it seems also um, just like what you were saying that many people are uh, wanting to make a drastic change and they think that if yes. they change their job, everything will be resolved, you know, all their problems gone, they have uh, everything resolved. But what I notice again and, and again, also with people I work in, uh, work with, is that they need to start with where they are, right? So what kind of lessons you can learn at the position you currently are or what kind of skills you see you can develop here and then see mm -hmm. what am i still missing and you know as you said maybe some other organizations or something you know what else you know i want to develop before i jump in full in something else because i correct, guess the correct. will also have problems right if you quit your job, yes. have your own business. I'm guessing you, Larry, also have some problems still, right? So it's not like everything will resolve itself if outside cir circumstances change. Um, yeah. So, so I think um, when it comes to making big career moves, you know, there, there are maybe three or four factors that are going to be very critical. 
I think um, uh, one is, um, you know, and that's what the last workshop was on about self-awareness of, of yourself, uh, what you really enjoy, what is really your interests, your objectives for your, your career, even your life, right? So that's a big factor uh, to making a successful change. Another big factor is really understanding situations, right? Because I know a lot of people that think, oh, I want to be a consultant, but they don't really know what the work is, is really like day to day, what a consulting career involves, what it takes to be very successful at it. Uh, maybe they underestimate the, uh, the hours, as an example. You know, they're only thinking about, oh, you get to work with different projects and different companies, you're always learning, right? Or like marketing. A lot of times people think, oh, marketing is creative, but they don't know how analytical it is. Actually, it's very analytical um, uh, function. So uh, a big thing is getting the uh, knowledge and information to really understand what something is about. And then a third factor is like kind of what you said, Ivana, um, what kind of transferable skills, experience, capabilities, right? Qualities can you bring from what you currently do? Even if you don't really like it and, you know, uh, but, but, you know, uh, I think transferable skills, being able to identify those and apply those into the next step um, or the next move you make, that's, that's another huge factor. And then I think the fourth one is, again, the kind of like psychological, emotional, managing your fear. Uh, because again, facing uncertainty is not really human nature. You know, people like familiar, they like comfortable. Actually, it's not human nature for most people to seek change. They seek stability, right? So your current situation, even though you don't like it, at least it's stable. You know what to expect. But when you go out into the unknown, it's going to be higher risk. It's going to be um, less predictable. And so how do you, you manage that as you're, you know, uh, and, and keeping yourself to move forward? I know a lot of people, if you want to say, they just chicken out, <laughs> you know, they just, they just pull back because they, they can't really, they're used to situations that are very clear and proven. And they're not used to getting out there where they're not sure what's, what's going to happen. Yeah. So, but it's about managing that really. So what you were saying is like two opposing types here. I like personality types, so I need to mention this. So uh, you were saying sure. like there are uh, people who always, you know, change jobs and there are people who stay at their position no matter how hard it is uh, and they mm. you know, do not want to change at all, right? So, but um, as I was investigating both types, I see some similarities because uh, both are expecting, you know, something on the outside maybe to change uh, for them. Like maybe those gr this group that is like changing jobs frequently, they expect if they have a new career, a new job or a new boss, you know, something will be different for them. They, were, they will uh, suddenly have great opportunities, right? And for this other uh, personality type, is more like I will wait until something changes in this situation or or until you know someone makes me change and I guess maybe more people are in this group that is as you say like um, got used to things as they are and uh, not changing you know don't want to go into uncertainty right so yes be, yes yes uh, yeah. so so yeah like I said it's it, I think um, it is you know, more human nature to, uh, to seek stability. And, and there's nothing wrong with that. I think all of us at one point of our lives, um, you know, and particularly when you get older, right, you, you have more responsibilities and uh, your priorities change and things like that, maybe a family, kids. Um, but a lot of times younger in your career, um, you know, that is the time to really explore and to uh, try to, you know, uh, try different things. And, 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 and learn about yourself and learn about the quote unquote real world. But I think like you said, personality types, you know, they're, they're some, tend to be people who are risk averse, meaning they don't like change. They, they, they like the familiar uh, routine. And then there are other people that um, actually like challenges, like new challenges and, and change. And they really want to um, experience uh, new and different things and feel comfortable doing that, you know? So, 
I always tell people that when it comes to job moves, career decisions, uh, career moves, job decisions, they're not about right or wrong. They're not about good or bad. It's really relative to um, your personality, you know, your interests, your, your objectives for your career, for your life, and, and things like that. And so, um, again, the, the workshop I had before uh, was about self-awareness, uh, more internal, how to figure out uh, you know, uh, your career, uh, but this one will be how to make it happen. Yeah. So I hope a lot of, uh, the people will join me. It seems to be a very, uh, popular topic these days. Um, and, and last thing I'll mention, Ivana is like, cause I do notice like, um, I come from the United States, which is a more mature economy. You know, there's not the type of growth that China has been experiencing the last 20, 25 years. So when, and, but now China's market is slowing down a bit. And so a lot of people are really starting to, to think about what is it that they really want to do. When the, when the market is growing and they're on a ship that is going fast, so their career is going fast, but they're not necessarily paying as much attention to, do I, do I really like what I'm doing, right? Like that. But when it slows down, it's like, well, you know, I'm not going to get those fast promotions like before. Is this really the place I want to spend my, my talent, my time, my energy and effort and things like that? So I think that I, I do notice that now is a time where, where people have a time to sit back and reflect a little bit about exactly, you know, where they're going uh, with their career and how satisfying it is to them, um, uh, how much they enjoy it and uh, what kind of success they want to achieve. Yeah, so that's what I'm all about, helping people achieve their success, whatever it may be to them, yeah. Yes, so it seems like they have more time now to really see, you know, and slow down a little bit. Maybe this is good, you know? Yeah. To yes, see like is. Um, mm. what is now like, you know, where am I? Like what is really making me happy, you know? So yes. I think, all changes are, you know, can be good or bad, but in, you yeah. know, there, there is always some opportunity for us. Yeah. So I think, you know, making the, the workshop is called how to achieve a big career change. And, and it's trying to either eliminate or, or minimize the quote unquote bad changes, you know? And, and so believe it or not, some people are able to avoid that. And they're, and it's about making good career decisions, good, you know, moves in your career. And uh, there are definitely some uh, key success factors that will allow you to, to make better decisions uh, and, and moves, right? Uh, so that you don't end up in either a dead end or a really miserable or failed experience like that, you know? But you can kind of take a step towards that direction and really kind of test it out. And again, I keep using the words a very reasonable, practical way, right? Mm. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so this is what I also notice and always suggest people to, you know, if they want to make some big change in their life, they first surround themselves with people that went through that change, you know, that know what they are doing, right? So I feel like, yeah. this, you know, you went through so yeah. much and have experience and also helped many people with this. So I feel like um, if you want to make a big change, yeah. this is a crucial part. Um, you know, learning from other people, both their, their their successes and failures. I mean, that that can save you a lot of uh, time and effort, and and frankly, pain. <laughs> you know, yeah, that's that's a really smart thing to do, right? Learn from the uh, experience of others. Absolutely. Yes, and I need to say that I have been doing this, and uh, it definitely works. You know, when you surround yourself with people like you see yourself maybe you have a vision where mm. you want to be and yeah. then you see yeah. oh, who is already there you know so mm -hmm. it definitely yes. makes you realize where am i right now like maybe you notice yes. things are you know you, you are at the right place because uh mm -hmm. you gained this skill you met these people uh it's not like mm. i need to throw everything you know go everything in waste mm -hmm. and then completely yes. transform myself yes. and now I'm completely different yes. person. So, yeah, okay. Thank you, right. Larry. Uh, so I sure. very much like this kind of topics and they seem to be a frequent occurrence in Motivate Shanghai. Yes. Uh, it, this year, like many people going through this process, wanting change, 
wanting something better. So I feel like this is very much requested from people and needed at this time. So thank mm. you very much mm -hmm. for today. I also hope that um, uh, if you know people are willing uh, and want to change their lives, that they are going to uh, attend this workshop uh, because last mm. one was very um, very positive feedback. And it, it was, was awesome. It was awesome. <laughs> yeah. Thanks. <laughs> so Thanks. Um, for this workshop, we expect this or more. So for sure, um, we are inviting everybody that is in Shanghai to join us. And for those who yes. may not be here, I hope you learned something. You got some inspiration uh, on moving forward from where you are right now. So thank you, Larry. Yep. And bye for thank now. Thank you, Ivana. Okay, we'll see you hopefully next Tuesday. I hope you're there. Okay? Yes, sure. Bye for okay. now. Okay.